One of the most important things in Pal World when you get to the end game is money. And the reason that is, is because the majority of the materials you need in the game will require you to farm a lot of other materials. But there are certain items that you could actually purchase with currency. And that's why currency becomes extremely important in the game when you get to the late game. Not only, I would say maybe mid game, because it's gonna help you out a ton. So let me talk a little bit about one thing that's super, super important, and that is ammo. When you start using the weapons and you get to later rounds in the game, you're gonna need to start crafting handgun ammo, you're gonna need to start crafting some uh, you know, shotgun ammo, depending on what weapon you wanna use, assault rifle ammo, some rocket launchers, and in order for you guys to craft this, it's going to cost a lot of material. For example, you need refined ingots. You're also going to need some PAL metal ingots. I'll have videos on how to get these really fast, but there is a better way and another alternative to actually getting this, and that is by purchasing this. In addition to that, guys, if you guys are go into the sphere world, when you're trying to get spheres, you're also going to be able to get some of these spheres. For example, the mega sphere, you'll be able to purchase it without needing all this material. Like fragments, ingot, wood, and stone, you could actually buy the spheres. In addition to that, you're able to buy some really powerful pals. And I'm going to show you guys four methods on how to make money fast. I'm going to give you the fastest way I found in my preferred method, but I want to give you guys alternative as well. Now, one helpful tip I want to give you guys so you guys don't have to go around the world looking for the items to buy. As you guys may already know, you're able to actually capture merchants and bring them into your base. This is going to be very helpful due to the fact that you don't have to go to like different biomes to be able to see what the merchants have. For example, these merchants that are located in these biomes are going to give you a huge advantage, especially if you have them in your base, because you can just directly buy from them from your base, as opposed to having to come to this biome. For example, this guy right here, if you guys are still missing some pals or want to get some really OP pals, he actually sells some really good ones. You're going to notice he has this different set of pals, which is my pals, and these usually come with four passive skills, which are really good, and these alternate very often. In addition to that, guys, if you're not looking for pals, and the main reason you want to do this, if you look at this Wondering mer Merchant right here, he's going to have some really good items, which is the ammo that you're going to need to fill up your weapons. For example, you need 150 assault rifle ammo, you have corrosive ammo, you have handgun ammo, rifle ammo, and shotgun ammo, you can just buy off of him instead of having to craft it. And for example, this Wondering Merchant will have some really good stuff as far as materials that you need to keep your farm rolling. But the main thing you're gonna need is this right here, which is the bone, the ice organs, and the high quality pal oil. These are essential for you guys to be able to do gunpowder and be able to do some more high end stuff when it comes to the game. In addition to this merchant, there's the other merchant that's located within the beginning start of the map that's gonna sell eggs and sell all that good stuff. So you guys can just go ahead and buy that so if you guys want to capture the merchants really fast and really easy without triggering any alarm, you're going to want to get behind the merchant and you want to make sure you have at least an ultra sphere. You just want to make sure you get behind him and when you throw it at him, it will automatically capture it. Now, if you have a higher level of uh, sphere than this one, it will automatically, I think it's 100%, but this one's actually pretty effective because you will be able to capture the wandering merchants just by getting behind them without you having to shoot them or you know kind of aggro them. And this is going to be really important because you're going to be able to take them into your base and no longer have to be dependent on that. All right, so once you guys went ahead and captured the, uh, the wandering merchants, you just got to make sure you summon them to your base. And we're just going to remove, let's say, let's remove this one. And we're going to move him for here. And as you guys see, the Wondering Merchant appears here. You'll be able to talk and you'll be able to buy the stuff from him whenever you need to. So you don't need to go out of your base. Okay, so now that you got that, let's talk about the methods you're going to need in order to be able to uh, get more money. All right, so for method number one, guys, you're going to want to go to this location right here, the Desolated Church Spawn. You're going to want to make sure you go this way, which I'm showing you guys. And there is going to be a merchant that you're going to be able to kill. Now, I would recommend, you know, as as long as you're you're high enough, you should be able to get this good. If you have a really good pal, or you've been able to level up your pals, you shouldn't. This shouldn't take you very long. Now, the great thing about this one is that you're able to do this multiple times, which makes it very effective. What you want to do is you want to go talk up to the merchant and just basically kill the merchant. And when you kill the merchant, 
he's going to drop a total of 24,000 plus coins. Now, the great thing about this is you could actually just go ahead and do the whole, you know, quit out of the game and come back in and just rinse and repeat and kill the merchant over and over and over again, allowing you to get those 24K coins really fast and pretty easy, actually. Uh, but, you know, there is a more effective way, which I'll show you guys in just a bit. The next method I want to give you guys is by having a character in your vase known as Mao. Now, Mao is a cat that's able to go ahead and dig out currency and you basically just put them on your farm here and you see all these all these sacks these are going to be gold coins and he's able to produce coins for you this is more like of an automated system uh, so you could just have you know if you have multiple of them so you guys i saw i got pit 55 so let's say you have like four of them running or he just threw another one out let's say you had another one here that would be 100 coins in just a couple seconds. Look how fast he's throwing them out. So you'll be able to stack up a bunch of coins. If you just put two to three in there, you'll have enough coins, you know, as the day goes by. So really effective method. Another method, guys, is by farming bosses and opening chests. These are going to give you cool materials that you're going to be able to have within your inventory. Like, for example, this diamond. And you're able to grab this diamond and sell it off to the merchant. So basically what you want to do is grab that one right there. And then you're just going to go and summon in the merchant and you would theoretically just uh, go ahead and sell this. And then once you sell it, uh, basically he'll give you, you know, he'll give you coins back. Let's go ahead and talk to him. And you go here, you go sell, you go sell here and you basically just sell the items that you have right here. And that will give you money and that's the way to do it. All right, so let me give you guys the most effective way to actually make money, guys. This is like the ultimate guide you want to do. So basically what you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to make sure you craft nails. Yes, nails. So as you see right here, if I go ahead and craft some nails, let me just go max it out. And all you're going to need is ingots. And what you want to do to get ingot, it's super easy. All you need is ore. Like I have a video showing you guys the best farming location that everybody copied me on my location on how to farm this ore. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you do this. And basically a ore piece will give you one, uh, two packs of nails now the reason why nails are so effective is because when you sell them they sell for a lot so you guys see right here guys four nails give me 640 so basically each set of nails here like let's say i were to divide this here and i would just to sell one nail it's 160 coins you get back with one nail so if you make a bunch of nails and you sell them you're going to be able to generate a ton a ton amount of coins that are going to generate you a lot an unlimited amount of money all you need is get ingots and then craft the nails and then just rinse and repeat this saves the hassle of having to farm bosses it saves the hassle of having to kill the merchant and it just makes it very automated because all you got to do is farm ingots and then just craft the nails and sell the nails and you're automatically set to get unlimited amount of money in the game allowing you to purchase high-end items like for example you know the ammo that you want craft uh, buy the eggs buy the milk uh to bake the cakes so really effective method to actually use in the game to make your grind not only automated but just a little bit more easier now with that being said guys you're probably going to want to know what are the best weapons to use in the game and some of the best weapons might actually surprise you so make sure you check out that video that's popping up right now on the screen so you guys won't miss when our videos go live thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one